Exterminator 87 here. We're shooting a little exotic revolver today. This is a Dan Wesson Model 40 Super Mag, chambered in 357 maximum. I believe what I have here is the Model 40 VH. Before today, I had never fired one of these, so it's very exciting to me. It is a Super Magnum cartridge developed by Elgin Gates, originally as the Wildcat 357 Super Mag. It was introduced jointly by Ruger and Remington back in 1983 as a new Ruger Blackcock chambering. Afterwards, Dan Wesson and Thompson Center produced guns in the caliber. Basically, the 357 Maximum is a 357 Magnum that is 300 thousandths of an inch lengthened in the casing. And obviously, it's going to have more pressure, muzzle velocity, and energy to go along with that. It fires all the same bullets if you reload it. Lighter bullets, originally in the 110, 125 grain range, would allegedly cause flame cutting and forcing cone erosion due to the high velocities and high pressures. Today we will be firing 180 grain bullets for our little range trip. You can get this up to a 210 grain bullet. And the cartridge uses small magnum rifle primers. It's a very interesting cartridge. These guns were originally intended for silhouette shooting, but there's also possible hunting applications with such a high velocity, high pressure cartridge running in the 40,000 PSI range. Revolvers are no longer produced in this cartridge, but there's still single shot Thompson Center pistols and rifles available. The cool thing about the Dan Wesson revolvers is the interchangeable barrel option. And they are available in six inches, eight inches, and 10 inches. This being the six inch version. This gun's pretty heavy weighing in at around 62 ounces. Make no mistake, this gun is beefy. It weighs almost as much as a Smith & Wesson X-Frame. Actually, it weighs more than some of them. The finish is bright blued. Hammer's got a wide spur with short double action travel. Eighth inch serrated interchangeable front blade with a red insert comes standard on this. There's also yellow and white available. Rear sights are interchangeable blade for a wide or narrow notch sight picture and it's screwdriver adjustable for windage and elevation. The trigger has a clean let off with a wide tang with over travel adjustment. All right, let's get in the shooting this thing. Mm -mm. Fire in the hole. 357 maximum, first shot. That is a lot of flame coming out of that. Yes. 
Yeah, I'm not touching that. Why? I'm just not going to. You scared of it? No. It actually doesn't really recoil bad, though. Yeah. Revolvers chambered in the 357 Maximum can fire the 38 Special, 357 Magnum, and the 357 Remington Maximum. And you can potentially also shoot 38 Long Cold in it and 38 Short Cold in it. Here's a bunch of 38 Specials for demonstration. <laughs> I really like this. Does it feel like nothing? Well, it's really accurate. 357 Magnum. Next, for comparison's sake, I'm going to shoot 38 Special Wad Cutter, 357 Magnum, then a 357 Maximum. 38 first. 357 Mag. 357 Maximum. 38 Special. 357 Magnum. 357 Maximum. You could have a jug or whatever to shoot too. I got plenty of those. If you want to blow something up with it. It's going hot, everybody. That thing really spits them out here. <laughs> Did you hear that? That rang it.
ready when you are. Okay. The top's fine. Okay. Sort of. Yeah. Don't let it scare you. I'm not. <laughs> That's not bad. I've been peer pressured. Another one more. Mm -hmm. 
Fire in the hole. I'm gonna try to shoot the lid off of this thing. Yeah. Oh, my earplug wasn't on. No. Oh, no. <laughs> my earmuff wasn't on my left ear. <laughs> that was unpleasant. <laughs>
Overall, this gun was very pleasant to shoot, and I would definitely like to make more videos on it in the future, maybe even a little bit better video with more range. This was Exterminator 87 with the Dan Wesson Model 40 Super Mag, chambered in 357 maximum. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun with this gun. Shot real nice, kind of like, I don't know, 44 Magnum level recoil, maybe a little less. Shot very flat, it seemed. For the short distance we were doing it at and uh, hopefully you'll see some more of this gun in future videos and if you haven't already please check out our Instagram um, like favorite subscribe keep watching keep shooting we'll see you next time exterminary 7 signing out goodbye guys <laughs>